All right. So here we are. We're back. This is part two. The album. The demo. The artistry of. Full album. <laughs> so um, just just going over this stuff. I mean, it just it, it just really made me just feel good. It made me feel proud to uh, to have accomplish this regardless of any of the setbacks regardless of any of the things that got in the way I was still able to to achieve my goal I actually did a concert for this album as well um I believe only like maybe 10 <laughs> 10 people showed up if that if 10 but um so I did the concert and and it, it it just it was good. It was good. I I gave away I set up a giveaway and I was expecting a lot of people. Like I was expecting 200, 300 people to come. And that's that's just not how things work. <laughs> When you're a nobody, nobody comes to uh, to see you. That's just that's just what it is. People look. I rather. I don't know what these college students were doing, but they rather do that than to come see your boy about Mizzy Mizzy Miles. So, uh, so I set up this structure where I think if fifty people came, I would give away like an iPod shuffle. And and maybe if a hundred people show, then I would give away two iPods. And if it was two hundred and fifty people came, then I would give away. It was a PlayStation. I want to say, <clears throat> I want to say it was a PlayStation Three at the time. So it was a PlayStation Three at the time, and that's what I was giving away. And so I, I went to Walmart and I picked up the tickets. Right. It was like a rally. And if you once you came in, you got a ticket. And I had like my counter fit. Fit was my um was my door counter or my people counter. I don't know what you would call it, but but he was that for me. So he was uh passing out tickets for me. So, you know, that was cool. It was just it was just glad I, I'm. I was very grateful, and I am very grateful for uh, for Fidlu. I mean, he he's just been there and helped me out a lot, even with my jazz, which I believe in this second half we're going to actually get into some jazz because uh, I use one of the standards. I probably use a couple of standards on the second half, but one that that we practiced a lot and we played a lot um i use that i use those changes in in this half so um just big shout out to fid and y'all keep them in in your prayers keep them in your thoughts and just send nothing but good vibes he definitely he definitely has a struggle and a, a long journey but we can't go peacefully and quietly into the night, <clears throat> right? This is something that was on Interstellar, and I should I, I got to learn the whole thing because because it's definitely applicable. Yeah, applicable. I guess that's how you say it in this situation because that's the embodiment of Fid. Fid is out there. He's like he had COVID. Boom! He knocked that off. He 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 was in a situation where. He didn't think he was going to make it. Boom, he he knocked that off. So he's out there and he's just pushing. He's like, look, man, I'm trying to live. Like, it's so much it's so much to live for, right? So I think, like, we, we got to remember that. Sometimes it's hard and it's so easy to forget that. But, but there's a lot, there's a lot to live for. And we got to remind ourselves. We got to, we got to embrace. Bring fear to the to the table. Put fear on your on your right shoulder. Put fear on your left shoulder, and let them speak words of positivity and and, and encouragement to you. So big shout out to Fid. He was there helping me out, and 
So we didn't, like I said, we didn't get the 250 to unlock the PlayStation. So a part of me was happy because I got, I got to take that back. Look, look, I need, I need that money back then. Okay. I need the money back. There's no need, uh, wasting money. And I took the other iPod back and I gave away one, even though only 10 people showed, I gave away one. So that was cool. I, just the whole experience was good. Just putting together a show, putting together um, a program. And I want to say that that program is different from the actual album program, which I would have to. It might not be different. It's hard to tell. But I would have to um, go back and watch it. I know I had the video. I had the video. Man, my computer actually messed up. My computer messed up and crashed maybe three, four months ago. So it might be lost that 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 concert. Man, that would be that would be crazy. I should have uploaded it and just put it on private. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't do that. Maybe I just wasn't thinking at the time. But so if I find it, I'll do that. I'll just upload it and put it on private. That way, no matter what happens, it's still on the still on the web, and eventually it'll be released. So, so yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll find it and put it on private. But leading up to it, I did uh, I did a talent show leading up to the concert. So, so I did a talent show a year like so. This was a year prior, and I didn't even have an album. I didn't have anything, um, but I had the concept. Okay, we're going to do piano rap. So I started doing. Um, covers. So I did the Nas cover, and then I did two Jay Z covers, and, and I did a Biggie cover. And the whole idea was this is how you would break a musician back in the day. So Thelonious Monk, which is one of my favorite jazz pianists and just one of my favorite musicians, period. So he has a real distinctive style. He he has a real distinctive sound. When you when you hear him and you hear other people and then you hear him again, you're like, okay, that's Thelonious right there. Like, yo, that's Thelonious right there. And so to have a style like that, to have a sound that's so unique, people are, are either going to take to it or they're not. So what one of the record producers decided was, look, we just got to go ahead and put, let them do covers, let them do the standards. Right. And this is something that jazz musicians do a lot, even though they write their own songs and they come up with their own songs, but they, they really break off of standards. You hear them playing your favorite standard and it's like, yo, I really, I really like, I like what he got. Let me hear some more. Right. And um, Stevie Wonder, the same way he was singing covers. Right. People who broke off of him, they were saying his songs. And then it's like, yo, I really like I like Darnell Jones. You heard him sing a Stevie Wonder song and like Jamie Foxx. He was saying other covers and just this is how you would do it back in the day. Now, this was never done in rap because the way rap is set up, you can't do someone else's song. So I decided to do someone else's song. Like, yo, the first time you hear me, you're going to hear me playing, uh, hopefully, one of your favorite songs. But um, when I did it that first, the first year, the first year, I I played someone else's song. I played One Love and John Legend, Ordinary People. I combined those two. So I had the, I'm playing the piano, I'm playing uh, Ordinary People but I'm rapping, I'm playing One Love. But I I I had a keyboard, so this was the situation. And let's go ahead, we're going to get into it. So I'm going to play the um, theme song. Do, 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 let me in, just, so here we go. Bang. Let me introduce you to Boom Miles.
And let's go ahead and pause it. All right. So we put that in there. This way I can cut the music. You guys heard it. So um, we got the, we're got we at the talent show. And I have a keyboard. Right. But I wanted I wanted a piano. But the piano was locked. The piano was locked. I had the keyboard. I'm going to do Ordinary People, but I'm going to rap it. So uh, and there was another guy. I can't remember his name, but he was a cool guy. Like, like I never knew him, knew him personally, but he just seemed like a cool guy. So um, he was going to sing Ordinary People. So I believe he was asking, could he use my keyboard? And I said no. And then I went back to say, yeah, but then he broke into the piano. So then I said, yo, I'm going to use the piano. He's like, nah, you're not going to use the piano. I'm like, yeah, I am going to use the piano. (laughs) And uh, so he, I think he got like some of his goons to come at me. But. I, uh, I I could turn it on. I mean, when I need to turn it on, I could turn it on. And so, and I was like, just kind of cool with his goons. I mean, not really like where, like if me and him were, was, were, if we got into a fight, they would jump me, right? But there was no punches or no altercation, really. Nothing, it was just all verbal at the moment. So, I got the pass. That's really all that happened. So it wasn't even like, yo, your boy Bo is just vicious out here in these streets. Like, nah, we just didn't get physical. So I was good. I was in a good enough standing with the goons to where they was like, yo, I mean, if if it's not physical and y'all just kind of really running your mouth, talk, and it, then it's, it, that's all it has to be. So. I want to say that he went, he went first. So he, you know, uh, the guy that I taught, I taught his piano player. I taught him the song. So, um, so he's playing, the guy's playing and, uh, the other guy's singing, right? So it's two up there, two people up there. And then we, um, we get into a situation where eventually maybe a three or four acts later than I get up there, I start playing, Ordinary people. Bing, 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 right? Boo! Like, yo, <laughs> they just start booing me, right? Now, he already, he already told his goons to boo me. So as soon as I start playing, they start booing, booing. Everybody just just joined in. It was like I was at the Apollo with no Sandman. And then I started rapping, and all the boos stopped, right? Because they like, yo, what's going on? So I'm rapping and playing. So people was like yo they started to they was listening but then um i when i got to my hook they was boo they started booing me again so so i got booed and i don't know if i finished i think i did finish right because why not like yo nobody coming up here to to run me off the stage so i'm gonna go ahead and finish so I finished, I got booed, clearly I didn't win, and I just was reserved, okay, we got to get it right, Let's, we got to cook up the album, we got to do what we got to do, a year later, the album is ready, but um, um, but I didn't promote, I didn't promote the the, the show, the concert at the at the um talent show. So this is a year later. I have better music or just a better experience. I combine Chopin A2 and E minor. It's real popular. It's 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 official. It's a a, a powerful 
emotional peace. <clears throat> and so I did that and I combined that with um with the evils, right? Which is devils. Jay Z, Reasonable Doubt, first album. And on on YouTube I have I do that, but I do the um Kanye Jamie Foxx last uh I had one too many drinks to do and ended up at the embassy with this pretty little thing from Memphis, Tennessee. It was a one night extravaganza. Like, so I did that. So if you, if you look it up, if you look it up on YouTube, you're going to see those two. I combine those two, but at the actual talent show, I combine Chopin with, um jay-z right now this is this is this is more revolutionary than than what i'm doing what i'm doing is revolutionary but this is even more because because the music doesn't loop now i took it i took it to the extreme after that i combined tupac and the theme song from um the incredible hawk right so that's on YouTube, but the music, but the, the, the Jay-Z with the Chopin, like the music does not loop for the, for the length of the song. And that was, that was fresh. And I just did some crowd work. I just really put myself in a position where I, I was just, I just came back to the situation so much better. I mean, I was just, I was developed, right? We talk about artist development in part one of the album. And, and I, I achieved that. Like, I achieved artist development. Like, I was able to work the crowd, get them on my side, build up a story, build up a whole rise and fall, and then go into the music. Right? With them already on my side, with them feeling like, yo, we know him. Yo, Bo, we want you to win. So... So it was it was right, but I lost. I believe I lost to Tiffany Talented, um, and I had her on the show as well. Um, Talented, it's on. It, she's one of the episodes. I'm not really sure which number, but I lost to her, and she's a really good dancer. She's a good rapper. She's a, a funny person. She's just an all around um, good entertainer. A really, a, just a really good entertainer. Just a solid entertainer. Like she. She just is like just all around solid entertainer. And I lost, I want to say I lost to her and she, you know, she, maybe she cooked up a dance routine and I'm sure it was fresh, right? Whatever it was, I'm sure it was fresh. I wasn't really worried about winning or losing. I wanted to, to, to really work the crowd. I wanted to, to be able to introduce myself, gain momentum and then boom, close with the song. Right. This is something that I was working on and I was able to execute it. So I felt good. Like, yo, boom, drop the mic. And uh, then, boom, now you got the concert. Right. So it so this whole experience, it just was a good experience. Let's go ahead and um, get into this. This this one is going to be talking about the streets. Let's go ahead and listen and then we'll uh, we'll just say whatever needs to be said. Place in this country where war is still going on. You see them shoes hanging high, you been full born. Nice and friendly, they don't live here. Polite and courteous, never been here. Maybe in a old dream, but that's a lost custom. Forgotten like Alzheimer's and them pipes rusting. I don't know what's worse, life for dreams. Waking up or going to sleep, it's all the same. A place where the moon tell the truth and the sun lies. You think you're safe for the day and you're the sun lies. Cause in this place they don't care no song. If you talk about preference, they don't care for revolvers. It's just like automatic shit that's free. Don't really fuck with Glocks cause they cheaply made. On the deathbed of a soldier, my ear will scream out. All right, so just to go ahead and start this off, the as you guys can hear, we have the the um we have the Arabic in the back, the sample. So I took that sample from Malcolm X, and it was more. It was um, 
It was like a was in Rasulullah, Allah, Allah, Shet was in Rasulullah. Right, so it was that sample, and it was off the Malcolm X movie. So I took that and I cut it up. But for some reason, I couldn't get that part in it, right? And um, I couldn't get the rest of it. So the only thing you got was um, was this. Let's hear it again. What is it talking? Right. So it's supposed to be yeah. Right. So that's um. So you, you know that was the prayer in Malcolm X. So I I took that and then I created the beat was just to represent the turmoil of the streets, right? Because a lot of hoods always referred to themselves as the Middle East. It was like Iraq or Afghanistan or or wherever, some just some place over in the Middle East. Um because because we were going through and that's the way that we were living lawless just violence murder burglary like all the stuff that's happening now you got because of the talks of defunding you got like whatever's going on in Portland you got all of that except no no news right you no protesting like nobody's pro it's just life Right, you might get killed today. You might your boy just got killed last night, and so that was the, that's the whole idea of this, and that's what I wanted to bring in the music. I wanted the music to to be the backdrop, right? Where you're thinking, okay, so you got a Middle East, and you got the prayer, right? You got Allah still blessing, still out there blessing the people, protecting the people even though the people are lost, right? Because that's really what you got in the hood. You just, you have us being lost, but, but, but just through the grace and the goodness of God, we're still able to, to make it one more day to hopefully see change. Right. And that's what you got. So that's why I put that. I, I, so I have the music to represent that middle East um, spirit. And then I got the prayer, the uh, Islamic prayer in there cut up to represent that um, even though I'm talking about negativity, right, we, we, we're we still receiving God's grace. So here we go. Let's, let's finish this one out. It's whatever, man. Turn the mic up. Niggas told they whole life that they ain't shit If it ever was something special, they ain't it I know niggas who can't read by teachers They was teased, asking them to read out loud Then they freeze, niggas that's attracted to violence Be the motherfucker so bad, the public scream I'll stop it, but they gon' watch it Niggas entertain, I ain't talking about video games Something like passion of the Christ But Jesus ain't been here Untold story by niggas that been there You might see dead people We call them junkies Lost souls in the hood Searching for something but Even though they can't find it Niggas round here Got the substitute And tell you about it It's the sunny side up And the shit Make the fries down And make the world go Around and around And around a- And that and that would have been the hook, like so. You would have had the Razulu. That would have been throughout the whole thing. But then the hook would have came in with the um, the other part that I I don't even know what happened. Why I couldn't get the rest of the sample in there, but I just um, when it, like it was able, I was able to cut up the sample and to have it. I, you could hear it on the board, but when I transferred it over to Pro Tools, you couldn't hear it. So I don't know what happened. But that would have been the hook. So here we go. Uh, verse three. <laughs> uh, it's 
First three looking back, nigga, what do we have? We got the vine because you be the math, it's not gonna be a pleasant outcome with pleasant answers. How the fuck you gonna have reason when nothing matters? Both properties manipulated, suppressed, and controlled by greater problems than I can see. But even I can see that we on the show. Be a fair false nigga just for someone else. Some say that was born. Niggas have been it for so long. I gotta say, the God, that's on the double bond. Call us caretakers. Go in and read about it. And that black and white will look till you scream about it. Niggas run and dream about it. And when we wake up, we live it. Never had to take it cause it's given. You swear it's Afghanistan. The way the hammers bang bang all day and night and sing to this very land. And this is, uh, just this second half is, I feel like this is like some of my best, I feel like the second half of this album is the best works from the album. Now, I think I, there was a few songs that I like. I want to say I, for the majority, I like all of the songs in the first half, but my favorite po- songs from the first half would be... Um, I like the shoulda, coulda, wouldas. I like I liked a lot of songs, but um, what song? There's at least, I know there's one song I did. I, I like the, you know what, with the murder So It's just crazy. But just to kind of think about it, it's like, yo, I like those songs too. But but this second half, I really like these songs. Like this, uh, I don't even know the, I don't even know the name of this song <laughs> that we just got finished listening to. Maybe the storm. I don't know what it was called. Could have been called sand niggas. I don't know what it was called, but um, I definitely I like I like it, you know. And just the next one, and it's just boom, boom, boom. Is 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 crazy. I'm just very proud of uh, of the work. <laughs> So before I start, I really like that you better turn my mic up. Yo, turn it the fuck up. Like I just like that. I got that from Big. Um I, I can't even think of what of what rap which song that he said it on, but like I really I just like that. I think even if I would have continued rapping even till today, I would have been saying, Yo, turn my mic up. Like <laughs> I just really like that. Turn my mic up. Yo, man. Turn this guy's mic up, man. Show it up for me. I'm just taking a show. I remember when I saw you wanted to kiss you. Wanted to lick you down. Wanted to stick you. Put the way for the day when I would feel your hot body on top of mine. You get the picture. Maybe I'm going to put two fingers in and let your body talk to me. You ain't know I speak different languages. I have your neck screaming for a kiss. I have your chest screaming for a lick. Your nipples are the shit. See how I vision you a nasty girl. A perfect fit. Little mommy in my nasty world. It's not just the clothes you wearing that keeps me. Thinking about you all day uniquely. See, I don't know you yet, but I would like to. Get to hold you what I do. I don't know. Ask you for that number. Matter of fact, let me get that number. Mm. Feels good when I'm t- So, um, this one, taking it, is just about, and, and, and I experienced this a lot as a, um, as a kid on the, on the sexual scene, just having sex as a kid. Like I experienced this a lot and it was, 
I, I looking back on it, I feel like like I just really wasn't ready mentally. I wasn't really mentally ready for sex. And as a kid, you just out there and you're you, you're just trying to be an adult. You're trying. You feel like you are, and you feel like, look, uh, I'm 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 ready for this. I'm mature enough. But but the problem is that I feel like. You just you look at it like 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 a hug. Give you a hug, go to the next. Get a hug every time you see a you see a, a person. Give them a hug, right? It's like it's like doing jumping jacks, and and it's not right. Like that's not that's not what sex is. Sex isn't just you just giving a person a hug, and and. I remember as a kid, whenever I would have sex with a girl, I didn't want to be around them after that. Like it was something I don't, I can't even put my finger. I never really even thought about it um, really until now, but that's what's coming out in this song, right? That's the idea. Um, Look, for you, you're you you have so much more invested in this, but me, look, I'm I'm just I'm just having sex, right? And and like I said, like I just feel like that's just a sign of not really being mature enough to even partake in this. And and I was talking to one of my bros um about this concept where if you think about uh, materialism, right? A certain age is not ready for materialism. They can't handle it. So you're talking about flashy money and cars and private jets and just all of this stuff. So, like certain people aren't ready for that. A certain age is not ready for that. So you see all of these images of materialism and capitalism and just wealth. You see all of these images of wealth but you're really not ready for it the same way you could see porn and you're really not ready for the sexual experiences that, that come with it and the emotional um, turmoil that comes with it. So if you're looking at it and you're 17, you're looking at it 16 and, and that's the only thing that you're looking at and you think that this is how relationships should go. This is how a relationship with the girl should go. Like, yo, nah, that's not real. Like, yo, you looking at false images, right? But if you're in your 30s or your 40s or in your late 20s, I was, yeah, look, you're in your 30s or your 40s and you're looking at it, you know that it's not real. This is like, you're not going to approach a relationship like your favorite clip of porn. Like, you're not, right? So that just comes with the maturity. And I think wealth is the same way. And then when we go back to this song, right, that's the whole idea is I'm really not, I'm really not mature for these experiences. I just don't know it. Right. I I feel like I am. I believe I am. Everybody talks about it in music and stuff, but, but I'm really not. So now I see this girl and I'm pursuing her. Right. She's thinking of her. What is she thinking in her mind? Right. What is she thinking? What is she expecting in this out of this? And I really don't even think about that. I really don't even care about that. And uh, and that's a problem. Like, that's a problem. Taking a show, can't wait to when I'm taking a show. And why not? You sound good when I'm taking a show. Yeah, you know, I'll be taking a show. I can't lie. You look good when I'm taking a show. The green faces when I'm taking a show. Then I sigh for you as more when I'm taking a show. But for me, I'm just taking a show. You know, I had to call you up. You gave me that number. Why you all alone? A pretty girl, I wonder. I know you could get a man. Know how to treat a man if you acting up. Well, surely don't be the man.
it went down, we stood it right up. I kind of felt in my heart I should say no. But my dick said, nigga, what you waiting for? It feels good when I'm taking the show. They can't wait to when I'm taking the show. And why not? You sound good when I'm taking the show. Yeah, you know I be taking the show. I can't lie. You look good when I'm taking the show. The pretty faces when I'm taking the show. Then I sigh. For you is more when I'm taking the show. But for me, I'm just taking the show. I swear that first time was the beginning of the end. You felt so good, I didn't tell my best friend. More than my fantasies, more than I imagined. The way we ended up, girl, I really didn't fathom. Cause you got possessive, asking all these questions. Fuck the where I'm going, and I'm coming back in. No, you really stressing me to fuck out. I ain't gotta take this shit, I'm gonna fuck out. Now you let the tears fall down your eyes. I know you're playing me. It's the same damn shit, it ain't hard to see But it's my fault, thinking with my genitals No, it's your fault, you should've took your Benadryl I know I should say I'm sorry If you ever need to, you can call me Because I look good, I think I wanna holla at her So when she see me in the streets, tell her I'll have it It feels good when I'm taking a show They can't wait to when I'm taking a show And why not, you sound good when I'm taking a show Yeah, you know I be taking a show I can't lie, you look good so there we have um the end so the girl is getting possessive and she's starting to i guess want more out of the relationship and starting to reveal her intentions right and the best thing that i can say to her is that her cousin looks good tell a holla at me right like so um it's just it's just crazy listening back it's just crazy listening back to the song and and interpreting this, right? This is what we're teaching. This is what we're teaching the youth. This is and this is this is how I felt, right? This is how I felt at the time. And it just shows you the immaturity um towards relationships. But like that's really how that's really how I felt. And it's it's just crazy because you're looking at it like like a bag of chips, like, like a hug, right? Like, yo, why are you, why are you feeling so bad about this? Like, yo, this is a, this is a good experience, right? Doesn't it feel good? Feel good for you. It feel good for me. We're using protection. There's no kids. Like, yo, what's the problem? What, why would you want anything more than that? Right. But, but like, no, no, man, she wants more. Right. So just, just juggling that as a youngster you're in your 20s like yo you're not ready for that you're really not ready for that you really you're really not so let's see what's next for the brief faces when i'm taking the show then i sigh for you was more when i'm taking the show but for me i'm just taking the show that uh it feels good when I'm taking a show. They can't wait to when I'm taking a show. And why not? You sound good when I'm taking a show. Yeah, you know I be taking a show. I can't lie. You look good when I'm taking a show. The pretty faces when I'm taking a show. And I sigh for you is more when I'm taking a show. But for me, I'm just taking a show. I'm going to give it to you, mommy. Sippin' on that good stuff I'ma give it to you, mommy Ay. You gon' give it to me, mommy Ay. You know where to find me Ay. VIP Sippin' on that good stuff buh, buh. Get them up, get them high buh. If you got a drink, then go and get them high buh. Put the bricks up, go and get them high Let's toast to you and I So this one, uh, the music is Blue Bossa jazz standard I want to say Kenny man I cannot think of his last name but I had his album um I still do I still have it but it's Kenny it's not Dorian man I can't think I can't think of his name but Blue Boss it's it's a standard it's a popular standard and so that's the music that I'm using um, I used the changes from Blue Bossa and just, you know, cooked it up and the hook, you know, I'm going to give it to you, mommy. But but that uh, this was actually supposed to have a Spanish, like a reggaeton um, rapper. So I would get a reggaeton rapper. So it would be me 
and a reggaeton rapper, and he would do the um, so we do what, but but so that whole part would be him, and he would be saying something in Spanish, you know. I my Spanish at the time was um, probably a point one out of ten, <laughs> so uh, and right now it's probably a point one five out of ten so it's still i'm still not ready to actually say something um but that's what would have happened if uh if i was running it just straight here we go yeah i seen that ass yeah i seen that ass couldn't believe that ass when he got on my list though at the big week that tag so the cues are ass keep it simple and plain always straight to the point never asking for names what kind of drink you want yo god takes a nothing yo i don't really dance you want to skate or something i show you how i live and i ain't fronting you know what you want girl just a little stuff in so you know how i do i do it extra good i go a couple rounds i keep it extra good i pull on your hand and call you dirty
How many kids did you want? Who was your first kiss? What's your favorite color? Did you have a long-term boyfriend? Did you tell him that you love him? How come he's not my father? Why he let you slip away? It's like I don't even know you even to this day. You helped me for nine months up in your belly. And the only thing I know for sure, you're like Pepsi. It's not your fault. You raised me right somewhere. I got selfish straight out of sight. Now, I don't write. Sometimes I don't call. And even when I do, we don't talk at all. I know I should call more. Let you see the kids. I promise it's all me. Nothing that you did. I try to change, but it's like I'm too fucked up. Guess that's why I feel stuck. You deserve better. You deserve better than me. All right, so that song, that verse is, that's to my mom. And this is... Like I said, it's like 2000, between 2006 or 2005 or 2012. So any, no type of thought about losing her. Um, But I wanted to just bring to the light that um, my relationship with my mom, and I don't know if it's like this for a lot of people, but it was just like, it's just real, it was uh, real secretive. You really didn't know, like we just... We just didn't talk, you know. You're you're a kid. Um, you need to be with the kids. Like you don't get a chance to hang out with the adults, right? You don't get a chance to sit around and to listen to our conversations and to be a part of it. It was if you found yourself around the adults, if you wasn't dancing or singing when they on command, then you were outside or you was up in your room, right? So that's how I that's how I grew up and. I just wanted to reflect that in the music because once you hit teenage years and you start feeling like you're an adult and then you hit your 20s and before you know it you're having kids yourself it it's a, it it comes a time when you you start to like see your parent as as an adult who is just trying to make it work just doing their best right and I know like it, this wasn't for me with my mom because I never felt like this, but I know a, a lot of people be feeling like, <clears throat> like their parents didn't do a good job or their parents didn't do this or their parents ain't do that. And you wasn't there and la la la. Right. People, people have all types of crazy stuff. They be talking about when uh, you looking back when they're in their teenage years, but when you become an adult and you start having kids for yourself, then you get a chance to look at your parents and see like, yo, man, this is just a human just trying to do the best that they can do. Just trying to be the best person that they can be and just trying to make sure that their kid turn out just a little bit better than what they did. Right. And and I wrote that and that was the whole idea that was it was just bringing to the light like, man, it's like I don't even know you. Right. Like, man, my I don't even know you. I've just been so selfish, so focused on myself and and my life that I really didn't even take it, take the chance to get to know you and get to know what you went through and, and how you see the world and how what, these type of things. And it's like I'm reserving them for girls. Right. You learning all of this stuff about your girlfriends. But what do you know about your own mother? Now, this isn't everybody because some people have good relationships with their mom and they know their mom's first boyfriend. And yeah, Clarence could have fucked me, but and he would have been your dad, right? So some uh, <laughs> some parents are like that, but um, I wasn't, and that's really what I was bringing to the light. And this song, you deserve it. So we're going to talk about my mom, talk about one of my girlfriends. I don't know which one until the verse happens and then um then we'll talk about we'll speak on abortions as well so let's check it out you deserve better than i can give and i know you deserve better than me you deserve better than i can give so i would definitely did like some two-part three-part harmony in this piece First saw you all I saw was your tits with the fat ass I just thought with my dick couldn't wait to hold you squeeze you after bunch of late night phone calls I would come to need you you believe but nobody believed including myself your parents didn't want to stick ever maybe my wealth or lack of I don't want to say 
they selfish prick, but I guess they could see who I was. Damn, I proved them right every time I made you cry. So they the very wings that helped me to fly. I got so hot, felt like it was all me. And didn't even look back till I was falling. When I started falling, you was there to catch me right then. I wish that you just would have let me hit the herb so hard my head would spin. Cause I know I'm gonna hurt you again. Girl, you deserve better. You deserve better than me. Choice that took away your little voice. Never to look into your mama's eyes or get your hair. I love you at least one time. You didn't get a funeral, not one of the services. Kept your development a secret. Now I'm living with the shoulda, coulda, wouldas, and can't sing. I might can buy a few things, but you I can't bring. Why I let them live? Why I let you die? Now I'm on my knees, looking to the sky. I know my dad was there when you crossed over. It ain't been easy, that's why I ain't sober. Every drink I take, I feel closer. Vodka ain't coming like it's supposed to. I know I got an answer for my deeds, for the breath you didn't breathe. But all I can say, you deserve better than me. You deserve better than me. You deserve better than me. So this song, this song, um, again, you know, we rapping about women now. I, I didn't sell drugs. I, I was on the cusp of selling, but I never sold. And so that's one thing that I wanted to, I wanted it to be authentic with my music. Right. I, so I couldn't, I couldn't do drug dealing raps. Right. I couldn't talk about cocaine raps and, and cocaine bars I, because because I didn't I didn't sell I didn't sell drugs I I remember uh, we were we were we were about to get evicted and I I already shared that story with you guys but um right I want to say maybe the because I found out on my birthday that night my, that's when I found out so I want to say maybe the next few days later maybe a week later or within four days or within the week, me and my homie Lou, we, um, cause I think he was even going through something like that himself. So we was like, yo man, we, we got to make this happen. So, um, my next door neighbor. So matter of fact, I didn't get put out yet. I didn't get put out yet, but I knew that it was, uh, it was imminent, right? I knew that <laughs> danger was, it was, it was coming. It was look. Look, this thing is about to hit. You can see the meteor in the sky. It's huge, and it's coming. It's going to hit in five days, right? So we hit uh, our next, my next-door neighbor. He was my next-door neighbor, and he was a junkie. We already knew this. Like, we already knew that he was a junkie, but he didn't. He wasn't, like, all scabbed up and leaning, but he still, we knew that he was on something right this this wasn't a surprise so we was like yo man we need you to cop we need you to cop an eight ball like yo cop anything and we'll just flip it right so we went um to the corner store the corner store sold the vows that's how you got your bags and your vows for uh for crack i mean it's so crazy but hey that's that's how it was so we brought them from the corner store and um we got the neighborhood junkie to go and buy some uh some crack for us right now you guys already some of you guys already know uh, cuz i already told you that he was a junkie so you you guys already know uh long story short we got beat and he came back i think he maybe like scraped his hand on the on the wall or something he was like yo i got jumped you know they jumped me and 
they they took the money. So we ra- you know, we rounded up everybody, you know, Autobots transform. So we all rounded up. We went out there to this neighborhood, which it was a it was a rough neighborhood, but by this time, I mean, look, look, we was already we had already um colonized enough of the area. Like we didn't colonize that block, but we colonized enough of the territory that look they don't want none, right? <laughs> like, like, look, man, they don't want this work. So, so we went, we went there. We in the alley. It's dark. It's night. It's nighttime. The wolves are out. And he was like, "Yo, this is what happened." So we looking. Of course, nobody out. And I want to say maybe like a week or within that week, um. Lou was like, nah, man, yo, he beat us, which I'm sure everybody was, was saying. I just don't remember nobody actually saying, like, yo, man, he probably beat y'all. But I'm sure somebody said it. And uh, we were young and naive. So Lou addressed it. And I want to say Lou scuffed him up, gave him that work. And he was like, yo, I'm, I'm going to pay y'all back. I'm going to give y'all back the money. And I want to say he gave me back. The, I want to say he gave me my half. Um, I really don't remember, but eventually within a week or two weeks, that's when I got put out. So I wasn't even thinking about that money anymore. It was like, yo, all my stuff, all my shit is out on the streets and just the embarrassment of that. So, you know, that, so that, that was my drug dealing. Right. And, and then a little bit later, that's when my aunt had me and my mom, um, come move with her. So, but before then, so we got put out. And then um, I want to say Lou was about to get put out. And uh, so evicted, right? We got evicted. Lou was about to get evicted. And then, um, oh, the battery is about to die. So I'll wrap this story up and then I'll uh, then I'll change the batteries. So Lou about to get evicted. We, um, we just moved in with uh, the homie Dennis. Right. So we moved in with Dennis. And now, like I said, that's a story for another day. Uh, it, that's a good that's some good stories there. But we moved in with him. And then uh, D was like, yo, man, y'all, y'all got to go. Right. And I forgot w- really what happened. But eventually I had to go. And then my dad was like, yo, you can uh, stay with me. And then he was he was like, yo, you got to go. <laughs> and I think he reached out to my aunt and my aunt had me and my mom. Uh, move in with her and her kids so um that was so i evaded the drug like yo i didn't have to sell once i got there my cousin who um he was you know my favorite cousin my favorite boy cousin um, one of them anyway because i really liked um my cousins on the east right but um he was working right so he's like yo man we're gonna get you a job so boom i totally uh sidestep the crack in selling selling drugs so so i didn't because i sidestepped i didn't want to put it in my music right so you you don't hear it you don't hear it in my music so i say all of this because so then what do you hear and it's going to be girls right i mean if you you're not selling drugs then what else right i remember i met this uh doctor one of my homies and um he was like yo you drink or you smoke like yo what drugs you do like, nah, I don't do nothing. He was like, uh, how many kids you got? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, yo, because if you ain't doing that, then uh, I know what you up to, dog. So let's uh, go ahead and flip this out. Y'all not going to notice, but that's what is about to happen. And then we'll just get right into the music and listen to the next song. All right. So, uh, you know, we finish up the story of my crack dealing almost extravaganza but that never happened um the guys in the neighborhood eventually they did get approached by the neighborhood kingpin so a lot of them um you know were they was hustling for them so i uh, i got lucky here we go let's see what's next yeah, nigga, get that shit. oh yeah all right yeah. so this song real brief that we want to make note of like I said, it's about girls. So, um, 
this song is in six eight. Now that's that's revolutionary for hip hop because it really hasn't been done. I know Kanye tried to do a song in like a waltz, but it was trash. Um and maybe someone else tried, but it's trash. Like this song, my song is the best song uh that's ever been done in in this time. And this cause most of your songs are in four four time. Um but this my song is the best song in Walt's time. So listen and uh you guys out there, you rappers, you know, take note. Producers, take note of what I did. See a bitch? Why she got me? Is she a freak? Nah, she ain't a freak. How long it takes? Not even a week. Nigga like me, spend a little G to worry about me. Nigga, go and speak. You see that she ain't a damn shorty thing. Yeah, little nigga, I hit that shit. You ain't here. Alright, I ain't here. What is she a bitch? Why she got me a bitch? Is she a freak? Nah, she ain't a freak. How long it takes? Not even a week. I ain't getting off. She say she love my lips. I love the way she moan. Body calling for me. Yeah, we in the zone. My lips on the nipple. She don't care, though. I'm coming in. We going home. Fingers in the ass. Then she push it back. Then I grab her hair. Bite her on the neck. Face on the bed. While she looking back. Making pretty face. I ass. I had to smack. Move like a wave. And she started saying harder, harder. Boo. As hard as I could. Then I started thinking what I get myself into. You see that shit, damn shorty thing? Yeah, little nigga, I hit that shit. You ain't hit. Alright, I ain't hit. Is she a bitch? Why she gotta be a bitch? Is she a freak? Nah, she ain't a freak. How long it takes? Not even a week, nigga, like me. Spend a little G to worry about me, nigga. Go and speak. You see that shit, damn shorty thing? Yeah, little nigga, I hit that shit. You ain't hit. Alright, I ain't hit. What is she a bitch? Why she gotta be a bitch? Is she a freak? Nah, she ain't a freak. How long it take? Not even a week, nigga, like me. Spend a little G, worry about me, nigga. Go speak. Shorty right there, know what she like. She came up to me, I was on the chair, riding on the train. Nobody there, asked if she could sit beside me. I'm like, yeah, it said her dad on the condo, right on the app at this stop. Wanna see me drop it like it's hot. Ah, uh, baby girl, why not? Dick a really hard way that I crib. Damn, I, I'm talking fat as shit. Can't wait. To get it as it gets. Yeah, I know I'm nasty as the fringe. Why should I stop now on the elevator? It's going down. My leg drop to her knees, put my joint out. Oops, now you know the bitch. Give me head. Not a bitch, can't call her that. Matter of a fact, I gotta call a queen. Baby girl is so obscene. Like some shit you see on DVDs. With a body that feels like it's gonna melt right in your hands. Had a letter melt right in my mouth. If you get the chance, nigga, you understand. You see that shit, damn, shorty thing. Yeah, little nigga, I hit that shit. You ain't hit. Alright, I ain't hit. Is she a bitch? Why she gotta be a bitch? Is she a freak? Nah, she ain't a freak. How long it takes? Not even a week, nigga, like me. Spend a little G to worry about me, nigga. Go and speak. You see that shit, damn, shorty thing. Yeah, little nigga, I hit that shit. You ain't hit. Alright, I ain't hit. What, is she a bitch? Why she gotta be a bitch? Is she a freak? Nah, she ain't a freak. How long it take? Not even a week, nigga, like me. Spend a little G to worry about me, nigga. Go and speak. Show me right there. I let her on run, sent a little note by my nigga P. Then she replied, I said, What's up? I could eat her up. She said, So sweet, and for the number called the right. I remember what I said, never waste time. You can play hard if you want. You can play hard, get left behind. Damn, no fast, gotta keep up. Don't forget to wear protection. Always use discretion. I don't care where they from. You don't want your dick falling off or some shit you can't get rid of. It's a lot going on out there. Yeah, that's enough on my tension. Ooh, where was I? Yeah, I remember hold up. Yeah, I met her at the mall. Gonna check out a movie. Walk around and get to know each other. That's all. But somehow we 
ended up in the parking lot sitting in the car with some Lauren Hill on the box. Next thing I know, them panties coming off. So that that one ultimately, you know, it's uh, a few one night stands um, and like those are always good, you know, like uh, these stories were were definitely embellished a little bit. But um, for the most part, true, true stories. And of course, you you got to create, put them in story form. You got to create rise and fall and different things like that. But definitely good experiences. Um, but again, like I said, with the other song, it's like, you know, it's it goes south if if the girl is not on the same page as you, right? And I think a lot of girls compromise themselves and and put their self on your page hoping <clears throat> that that maybe they can bring you over to their page. And um that that's just never good, right? I mean, I if I chose to, I could have a lot of sleepless nights thinking about hurting people, right? But um Look, that's just a part. That's that's for another conversation. Let's hear this. This is probably my least favorite song, um, lyrically, and you can actually hear me. I I feel like this was the last song that I wrote because I can just hear and feel myself just being drained and just the energy. I can just hear the the lyrics. Like, look, man, just be over. <laughs> And I didn't know anything about harmony, so I wasn't developed yet. Right, so I would have definitely had some harmony. Things I could have done to kind of make it a little bit better. Why my doors open, crack halfway, something wrong, I ain't been all day, better pray these fuckers gone, cause I'm past the limit, if I said it, I meant it, tongue bite for no one, don't get it twisted, believe me, these anti just to calm me down, my little homie yesterday said the cops came around, asking where I work, where they might find me, come down to the station, put this thing behind me, yeah, I grabbed the neck, machine pass out, you feel me, I don't beat my girl, but my little brother wanna kill me, it's understandable, I guess I do the same too, but I ain't trying to go to jail over killing, dude. Sober on my wall, death threats talking about nigga better leave town. I knew your ass was foul, you gon' die now. Shorty won't return my phone call to drop, man. I swear, sometimes she got just like a child. Got a little brother breaking to my crib when I ain't home. Got motherfuckers calling and they getting up the phone on top for all that. I hear sirens, cops acting like this for domestic violence. Shh, that shit is unheard of. Everybody's pissed. I did a land my ass in this predicament. Whoa. Soon I met her on the strip real late in the June listening to my brother's tunes. 
summertime By the fresh prince Look right into her eyes Then she came over Asked me what my name is So I told her Got her in this flashback Cause her heart knock At the door It's the fucking cops Wondering why they ain't want me for As soon as I opened the door They came in rushing Start throwing the cuffs But I ain't say nothing Then they pulled me up Talking about reminders Said I'm going down For having sex with a minor So that one, um, the subject matter I felt was good and the idea. I, I like the idea, but I just feel like my execution fell flat, right? And um, I never I never messed with any uh, underage chicks. I mean, when I was 16, I think I messed with like a 14-year-old. Um, maybe I was 17. She was 14. I think it was like my senior year and she was a freshman. But yeah, yeah, her name ran with uh Banyell. And she was uh she was nice. I really I really liked her and uh definitely had um a lot of fun. A lot of fun with the old Banyell. Um so shout out. Shout out to uh Banyell. Oh, 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 oh. I need a drink. Man, I had like 15 years of oh, oh, oh. Now, this next one is, um, I think this is the last one. Um, so the main thing, this is uh, NFL or Niggas for Life. I'm not really sure if I had just NFL. That might seem a little cheesy, but you never know how what it, what it was going to be called. I'm sure it was going to be like Niggas for Life. And um, so we got my, my best, for, I think the first verse goes to my best friend, uh, jazz and the second verse is to uh a girl i really i really like this girl and i want to say um i wrote about her you know in some others in some other songs so she was definitely a reoccurring uh theme um and for my material you know i put a lot of verses <laughs> um she you know she would identify with uh with a lot of the verses and her name, I would say, uh, rhymes with uh, Biffany. Um, <clears throat> Biffany uh, McGriff. That's what her name rhymes with, Biffany McGriff. And so that's the second. And then the third verse will be like teachers. So here we go. And this is this is definitely this is definitely one of my favorite um songs on the on the album. I got a lot of them just listening to it. Um I got you know, I really liked it. I really liked uh what I what I did, what I created. So I really really proud of myself. No, we grew apart, we both got dreams. You had it on your own, 
I guess I did my thing, but in reality it be how I gotta be. But you my nigga for life, nigga, we niggas for life. I know we grew apart, we both got dreams. You had it on your own, I guess I did my thing, but in reality it be how I gotta be. But you my nigga for life, nigga, we niggas for life. Remember how we got cool times was tough, walking down the low bar, get roughed up. Niggas want be niggas, you know how that go. We gotta watch each other's back and get your eyes swollen. When that nigga took your jacket, we went and found the fools. You punched the words, had to teach a little lesson. Don't try to fuck with me or my crew. Take something from me, we gon' take something from you. We roll tight, look to school almost every day. Get the play, staying up all night. No, I ain't had no lights, electricity. No gas in the wind of my life was miseries. All that I had was me. I can't forget you, but you was there for me every time I went through. You better believe I owe your mom's apology. You was on the wrong track, just follow me, friends to the end. I know some they don't got none, but as long as I live, you still got one. Your brother, your cousin, whatever you call me. If I hurt you, nigga, then I'm sorry. I know we grew apart, we both got dreams. You had it on your own, I guess I did my thing. But in reality, it be how I gotta be. But you my nigga for life, nigga, we niggas for life. I know we grew apart, we both got dreams. You had it on your own, I guess I did my thing. But in reality, it be how I gotta be. But you my nigga for life, nigga, we niggas for life. Girl, you were so soft, I held you in these arms. I look in your eyes, I forgot we were so wrong. Life don't always pan out like it's supposed to. Before it rained, your calls would always come through. Then we zoned out, talking for days. Man, that nigga's hood, that's what my homies were saying. But I never paid no attention, just listen. We can never be the same, I'm just reminiscing. I can never forget you, girl, and grave like a picture, girl. And I went with a few, not the mention. You were supposed to have my ring. Same goal, same last name. Plus, we had the same thing, that's the way it be. Until she came in, didn't think you would leave until it happened. And I swear I ain't even fucked that bitch. Lord knows I tried, but no luck that bitch. I'm just using me so she could get to you. I wish you came late in my life, I would do right by you. But you thought I was telling lies, you see it in your eyes. I guess the time really was goodbye, my mind. I know we grew apart, we both got dreams. You had it on your own, I guess I did my thing. Now, that one, that verse um, for Biffany, that that really happened, right? And it was it was a lesson. It was a lesson that I learned, and um, and it was even amplified when, in college, right? And I'll probably speak on it um, on the next one, right? The next week. We we're gonna we're gonna dive into uh we're gonna dive into uh these scandalous hoes. <laughs> and and it's not even it's look, it's 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 wolves. It's all types of wolves out here, okay? Look, man, a female wolf can kill you just like a male wolf can. Like, yo, their bite is vicious. They can break your arm. So it's not even scandalous. Look, man, they wolves. They wolves too, so um, so yeah, we'll we'll address that next week. But in reality, it be how I gotta be. But you my nigga for life, nigga. We think it's for life. I know we go apart. We both got dreams. You had it on your own. I guess I did my thing. But in reality, it be how I gotta be. But you my nigga for life, nigga. We think it's for life. Teacher, teacher, please try to reach us. You ain't reach me, but you can't give up. A lot of niggas out there living half fun. Don't got an idea, but got a little piece of mind. Tell me who wants to fail time and time again. Or go to a class, nobody wants you in. I know you like the kids who get all age. You try to act like you know, but they get all rage. You think you need a rage for what? Babysitting. What's niggas like? Even 16, we start quitting. Oh, yeah, you don't go around some real fucking animals. That dude is just a kid. He don't have a clue. But as for you, you went to school for this. You did your little intern. You had ideas. You knew it would be tough, but what you didn't listen. If you can't take the heat, get out the kitchen. All you gon' get from me is a little tough love. So take it to the classroom and uh, tough enough. They could be the titan they were supposed to be. Hopefully they grow to be like you and not like me.
so um that that i believe that's the album that is the album and um honorable mentions there were two two to three songs that didn't make it on on the demo that i never record i never even recorded a demo form and one is for um one is for my aunt uh Janie and um that was a, a really good song I I'm not sure if I couldn't get somebody to write the I mean sing the hook because at this time like I really didn't want to sing the hook right and all of these demos were based off of the concert so this is one of the songs that I felt like, all right, if I didn't have the vocals, because I knew that nobody would be singing, like even with the, um, what is it? Shoulda, coulda, what does I care? Like I, because I knew that I wouldn't do the vocal tracks with the girl destiny. I, I just, I did, um, I just did a, a solo version. So I, d I did a different version of it. Right. So I did that with that. And then with the, you don't want with the murder, I, I probably use the vocals. I'm not really sure. Like eventually I'll find that album and, and find the concert and see what, what did I actually do? But, um, but the Janie song, because I wanted somebody else, I wanted a different voice to sing. That's why I didn't, um, that's why that song didn't make it. But it was a really good song. I liked the melody and just the music. Everything was solid, right? And uh, You Can Look, which I want to say that Destiny did that for me. But I wanted to be more sexual. like. And it's like when you first do a song like that, and it's kind of like even with the photography, it's hard to to request a, a level of sexiness from from your subject when you're when you first do it right now right now it's like okay i can separate i can be professional and like yo nah like i need it you know look this is like you doing a take this is like a movie not a porn but this is a, a love scene in a disney remake so i need it i need it juicy but at the same time i mean this is disney right so i i can do that now but at the time i just I just I think I felt uncomfortable asking for it because it's like, look, I don't want you to feel uncomfortable. So I think that's why I didn't. But she did it anyway. Right. But it just wasn't provocative enough. And that's why I didn't do it. And maybe I wanted to use like a, a maybe a, a down south voice. I wanted a southern voice or maybe I wanted the up north voice. I'm not really sure. But those are the two songs that didn't make it. And um yeah, I believe those are the only two songs so that um that didn't make it. But other than that, you know, that would have been it. So it's been real. Look, we got it in. The album is complete. You guys, if you want to listen to it without me talking, go to YouTube, type in Bo Miles, the artistry of full album <laughs> and uh it should it should come up. You know, I uploaded it December twenty twenty. December fourteen um 2019 so that's when it that's when i uploaded it and um you guys if you want to check it out uh solo you just want to listen to it go ahead um find it and give me a thumbs up and that way um even look drop a comment say yo bo i listened to you on the podcast and just your breakdown and everything and i liked it and i came over here to show some support. You don't gotta write all of that. I know a lot of people. You're not writing all of that, but but if you feel like you want to write all of that under the video, feel free, and I'm going to read it and I'm going to comment back. <clears throat> so, um, you guys, you can follow me on Instagram, which I really don't be doing anything, so there's probably no need for you to even follow me. But um, <laughs> but if you want, because right now I'm really just on my Tekken game and my Tekken grind. So if you want to follow me, it's uh Patzer or you can, I believe it's, um, Bo miles. So at uh, maybe that's Twitter, but, um, Instagram is Patzer 
underscore nine nine or Pats or ninety nine. It'll be like a Joker icon. So, so yeah, yeah, that's that, <clears throat> and that's really that's really it. It's, uh, if you you guys want to leave me a review in iTunes or review in Google Play or Stitcher or wherever you listen to it, if you if you have the review option or you want to give me some stars, feel free. Look, I mean that that's definitely going to help. Um, so you made it this far. Thank you. Uh, catch you guys next week. I really, you know, um, I'm, like I said, I'm pushing the tech and God com. So that's, that's gonna, that's like my main focus right now. And I got a project where I'm going to be like really positioning myself to, to be go- doing that extra hard. So, uh, those of you who play Tekken, if you want to improve, on your gaming, your Tekken abilities go to Tekken God Prime. You, if you play Tekken, then you know how to spell it. Um, if you just want to check it out, it's uh, T E K K E N G O D P R I M E dot com. That's Tekken God Prime dot com, and um, you know, check it out if you want. Uh, that's that. And catch you guys next week. Have a good week, right? Have a good weekend. Hopefully you guys uh, stay out of trouble and just look, ride slow, <laughs> ride slow, homie.